Hi everybody, it's Andrew here again for GamerGuides.com and welcome to the latest in our Dark Souls 2 Boss Strategy Guide series. In this particular video, we're going to tell you how to beat the dreaded Ruin Sentinels. That's the classic three-on-one fight. Now, as soon as you drop down into the arena, look and lock onto the Sentinel on your left. Now, do your absolute best to fight it up here. Otherwise, if you fall down, sadly like we do in our video, then it does turn into a nasty three-in-one battle and that isn't fun. Killing the first one up top also allows you to get a cheeky hit in on the second one when that eventually jumps up uh, probably around about 20-30 seconds later. Another little tip is if the sentinel drops down to the lower ground it will jump back up again so make sure and it will do an immediate sweeping attack when it jumps up so make sure you've got your shield ready and just wait until it comes up and attacks and then you can continue the fight up there. Now drop down to once the, the, the top, you know, the first sentinel's gone, drop down to the lower floor while crushing a life gem because you will take damage unless you're in the cat's ring and this will compensate for the loss of damage that you're going to take. Now try your best not to summon anyone for this battle unless you know they're good as there's three bosses to contend with in one room and their defense levels increase with each additional ally you summon and if they die and you're left on your own, then their defense increase levels don't drop, which means you've got even harder bosses to beat on your own. Now, focus on killing one sentinel at a time on the lower ground, but do your best to keep them all on screen as much as possible to stop them from planking you. That won't always be easy, but do your best to keep them together where you can. If you see them getting ready to throw the shield, dive out of the way. It does hit us in our video, um, so you might not always be able to dodge it, but you should at least be able to heal straight afterwards. Now those with a higher adaptability stat will find it easy to dodge through their attacks because of your additional iframes, and you'll see that in a couple of occasions in our video. A couple of attacks you thought we probably should have got hit on, we didn't, thanks to hiring, having a higher level of ADP. And constantly circle the room and only attack when you're sure both enemies are unable to retaliate pretty much during their cooldown after an attack and you'll notice that's what we do in our video once you're down to a single sentinel then just bide your time and like always don't get greedy just attack when the cooldown is happening and you'll find this battle much easier once the battle's done and you're victorious don't forget check the walls in here for multiple hidden passageways because there's a few of them on the lower ground we hope this video has been of some help to yourself and we would appreciate your feedback at GamerGuides.com or on our YouTube channel where you can subscribe, like and tell us what you think. Thank you very much for watching this video and we hope to see you in the next one. Take care everybody. Bye bye.